The report highlights a number of significant failures of control and breaches of compliance across all business areas. Those are the areas that were subject to inspection, indicating significant and substantial failings by the senior management team within the association, and also a failure by the board to effect an adequate challenge function to the decision-making process within the association. This statement is qualified by the inspection team's awareness that, on occasions, the board had either not been fully briefed by the senior management team or had been misinformed by them. Some of the main issues identified were procurement procedures not being followed, breaches of statutory approvals, incorrect use of consultants, incorrect procedures for procurement of land, non-compliance with Housing Association Guide, and the use of middlemen or site finders. Because of the nature of the issues, especially within property development, and that accounts for the provision of new housing stock, the inspection team carried out a detailed examination of a significant number of development schemes to determine if Housing Association grant had been improperly claimed. The outcome of this work confirmed the extent of the non-compliance with procedures. However, it also established that with the exception of four schemes, the grant was used for the purpose for which it was intended, namely to provide social housing within Northern Ireland. The amount of grant which falls to be recovered is £669,000, of which £142,000 has already been recouped and discussions are ongoing about the recovery of the balance. In this regard, I would like to acknowledge the response of the Board of Hellam Housing Association to these findings. The Board has acted with openness and integrity throughout the inspection and subsequent discussions, and has demonstrated a keenness to address all the issues raised.